Um, OK, so I have a few announcements to make. First, you have seen this slide before, but I changed it just a little bit. Do you see where it's different? Here, when you create your list of references, this is how it should begin. With the section title, references, plural, fushu. This in Chinese is just 参考资料. So uh, after the end, the last paragraph of your essay, skip one line, add the word references, and then you can begin to list your sources in alphabetical order. Uh, the second announcement is that at the end of your handout, there are like 12 pages. And that is a journal article that I think does a very good job of integrating sources into its literature review. This paper, Muhammad Asif Qureshi 2020 Grammaticality Judgment Task. Um, this is the paper that's at the end of your handout. You have the abstract introduction. Already in the introduction, it is um, citing some other research. But really, I want you to focus on the literature review because this is the closest to what you have to do. In your case, you also have to have a, some kind of introduction. It doesn't have to be as long as in this paper, um, but after the introduction, then you also should go through different sources of information and you should organize those sources according to the logic that you need for your topic. So in this paper, the author first uh, uses the theme of reliability uh, and talks about uh, using this paper by Cameron, talks about the reliability of his topic. Then he moves on to uh, grammatical judgment task, test and retest design. Again, using sources, a paper by Ellis. Uh, mainly, and then you have another paper by Aladnazi. And then you have another paper by. Uh, Tabata Bay and Degani. Uh, then the next section is uh, on comparison design, again, looking at other people's studies. Uh, and then the literature review ends, and the next section is on the current study. This paper is original research. You do not have to do, in fact, should not do original research. So I really want you to focus on the literature review part. Um, but I included the whole paper in case you were interested. Um, and after creating the handout, I also had a group of students finish their senior thesis, and I think they also did a very good job in their literature review, so I included it here also. If you didn't know, your senior thesis will be uh, in the public record, uh, so I didn't have to ask them for their permission to give you this file. Um, the it, it will be in the public record, but there will not be an e version published. The public record is basically the student association office. Um, I just happen to have the PDF file. So you can take a look at this if you want to. And then finally, one last reminder for this assignment, you must have at least four kinds of sources, not just four sources, four different kinds, like a journal article, a book chapter, a book, a conference paper, a PhD dissertation, a master's thesis, a website, news report, blog post, YouTube video, all are different kinds of sources. You must have at least four different kinds, and among those, 
at least two of them must be academic as I define it at the beginning of the PowerPoint. So if you need a refresher, the PowerPoint is on here. The different types of sources are in the APA 7th examples PDF. Uh, and then at the bottom you have examples. Questions? Okay, great. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. <clears throat> 